It's very hard to know why, you know, a, a character like Sherlock Holmes becomes beloved for over a hundred years and the single biggest hit in fiction. The first and dumb answer, but I'm afraid it's the, it's the most important one, but it's not exactly a brilliant one, is it's really, really good. Those stories are just brilliant. Modern American and British and Scandinavian television tells us very clearly we like our heroes flawed. And even in Victorian times, it seems they like their heroes flawed. So he's better than any of us can ever be, but also there is something, I guess, relatable to about him as well. This is a man who's sort of extraordinary in Sherlock Holmes, somebody who is peculiar in his movements, his mood swings, his habits, his abilities, his strengths and weaknesses. So all of that is there, but, but Doyle had this fantastic framing device, which is this other extraordinarily important character, Dr. Watson. And I think the relationship, this kind of very peculiar chalk and cheese partnership between a man who's seen military service and this sort of cold reptilian at times, but also there is, beneath all that cold blood, there is a beating warm heart. Yeah, I think that plays a very key element to the enduring appeal. As it celebrates reason and distance and aloofness, it also celebrates friendship. We love friendship too. We, uh, we love the idea of these two utterly incompatible men being the, the two most div quietly devoted friends ever in, uh, in, in the fictional universe. We, we adore that. We'd love to go and visit Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson for one of their fireside chats because they're, they're adorable, they're fun, uh, and you'd like to be their friend. You know, Sherlock Holmes as a character is uh, the first super detective and everything that has come since Conan Doyle's time sort of does owe it a debt to some degree or another. I think he's attractive and he's, and he's brilliantly clever and he's cleverer than us and I think we, uh, he casts us into a, into a little mystery. We jump in and then he, uh, then he leads us out again and I think we, we kind of, that just seems to delight us. The sheer idea that the great detective is also a bit of a freak, that's what Doyle came up with. You know, he's not just clever, he's mad. And they're all, if you look at all those great detectives, none of them are ordinary. They, they work on inspired insights and they're, they're always sort of socially a little bit uh, an outcast. You know, all the great detectives, all those rivers flow from Baker Street. Come, Watson, come. The game is afoot. Well, Holmes, surely you must have some theory. You all have a past, Watson. Ghosts. They're the shadows that defy our every sunny day. 